stop smoking, you might as well ask me to stop breathing. Well, you have that wrong, Mr. Stopworth. To continue smoking is to stop breathing. That's a very interesting play on words, Mr. Brooks. You men of the cloth sure have a way with words. How old do you think I am? <clears throat> oh, 42. I'm 42. Look, I'm, I'm going to confess something to you. I tipple, Mr. Brooks. I mean, I drink. I mean, I drink all the time. Shocks you, doesn't it? You better stand up. I'm afraid I might fall on you. The thing is, I can't stop drinking. See? That's just the thing about me. I can't stop drinking. You accept that, don't you? Mm. No matter what happens when you leave here, I will always drink. Thank you. Now, all right, if you can understand that, you can also understand that my drinking is directly connected to my smoking. No, it, when I say directly, I mean there's a thing, a, a physical thing that is directly connected from my liquor buds to the smoke pouch in my lungs. If you want me to quit smoking, you're gonna have to cut. I mean, you're gonna have to physically cut that thing. And when you do, my head's gonna fall off. You understand, Reverend? <laughs> the booze bone is connected to the smoke bone. Then the smoke bone is connected to the head bone. And that's the word of the Lord. <laughs> 